Hello, welcome to Have A Go, and I'm Alan. Today, I'm going to get cracking on this lathe business. Or the boring part. Line boring, to be precise. Oh, I'm loosening off the rod because... I'm going to put a small sliver of bearing here to use to use as a measurer basically. Sorry about the light, I know the sun is playing merry havoc with this. I think I got the electrical system sorted out just in time. Just going purely off the feel of the Allen key scraping on this, I'm getting a fairly decent surface finish. And that's how I plan on testing to see whether it's getting to the right bore. Slide this up and if it goes in, then I know it's there. It'll be fun, they said. I can't get my telescopic gauge in there, but it occurs to me I can get a ballpark off this. So about 24. <laughs> Problem is, I need to measure the bore, but the bar is in the way.
Get out the snap gauges. Trying to do this without moving it completely off the uh, bed. If it looks like it's starting to go in, it's because there's a bit of a um, bevel on the edge there. That's what we're up to. Achingly close. Don't wind this into exactly where the cutter is. Feel a gauge. Now there's a distance of exactly the feeler gauge between the cutter and the nut there. Push the cutter out that distance of the feeler gauge. Back this off first. So that when I release the pressure on this, it won't slam into the cutter. If you're thinking to yourself, that looks really, really boring and tedious, well, you're not wrong. Holding it this way is a bit awkward, but I'll do it for you guys. I am optimistic right now, very optimistic. Which is a nice change. Hi right, George, I think we've got it. Gonna take the cutter out entirely now. Nice and tight, just the kind of fit I want. Need to cut down that longer one, but that can wait. Woohoo! I was doing this to see whether the um, 20 mil shaft could still turn, because if these balls were too small, it would actually compress the bearings inside to the point where this would seize up. But it's not seizing up, so I'm happy. Yay. Which means... Tear this down. Tear it down. And now I have to clean all this up. You cannot dull my triumph. Find that back to the other end. What an absolute trial. When someone tells you they've made a gingery lathe, completely including the headstock, that's a big thing to boast about in my opinion. Because when you build, when you buy a lathe, it's all made. If you make a lathe, and you have a milling machine and another lathe and all the nice little bits and pieces you can just whack it on the mill have it all nice and square and flat but if you're doing it the gingery you know, the old school way starting from nothing that's respect to pull that off I've got a spare empty bucket I might just put these clamps in here for now Keep them nice and airtight. You never know, I might, the heck? I might want some tailstock support again. 
Didn't take it off before because it made for an easy way to get this to the other end without having to hold the nut myself. Alright, pull this back together to keep it together. I don't know that I'll need this stuff again, but you never know. Alright, let's put some whey oil back on this, aka the hydraulic fluid. I need to tidy up this bomb site. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.